Welcome back to my series on using Google Forms in the classroom. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the options in terms of taking your quiz and putting it someplace where people can get to it uh, so they can actually take the quiz or survey or whatever it is that you created. So here we are still on the Earth Science quiz that we created. Uh, don't forget to go to the settings up here, figure out who you want to be able to respond. This is an important step to make sure that the people you want to be able to take the quiz can take the quiz. Just be careful about this part right here where it says can submit only one response. If you have this set up on a public computer in your classroom where multiple children are going to be getting onto it, um, if you have that clicked, then once one computer is used, it can't be used again unless the kids log in with their accounts uh, using like an incognito tab or something like that. So be careful about that. Make sure that is all set up the way you want. Um, so when it's time to get the kids to do the quiz, you can click send up here and it brings up several different options. You can email it out to each individual student. Um, in my email account, I actually set up individual groups. So here's my, you know, one, two B and one, two A classes. I also have set up a sixth grade science from all of my kids. So that takes a little bit of setup to begin with. Might not be something you want to do, especially if you do not have email for all of your students. Another option is just to take the link and put it somewhere. So here's the link and you can see it's quite a long link. It goes really, it's uh, take, it would take a long time for a student to type that in. And there would be a lot of opportunities for them to make mistakes. Google has offered something called shorten our URL. So you click on that and it actually makes it a lot shorter. So you could actually take this, write it up on a, on a board and the kids could copy that. Another option for that is take that original link you can copy that and go to a website like tinyurl.com and you can paste it in here and it will make a tiny URL for you. Might take a few seconds. So here's your tiny URL and uh, you can open it up in the new window and you can see now it works. So you can copy that, you can write it up on the board, the kids can get to it that way. The way that I always do it is I take that URL and I place it on my classroom website. Works a lot better, so I would just take this, uh, I'm copying that, and then go back to my website, go into edit mode, and, and then place it in the way your website is set up. That seems to work very well for me. The other option also is you can even embed it onto a website. I don't do that very often, especially if it's a longer form, because then you're scrolling in a page within a page. It gets confusing for the kids. So I try not to do that very often. Uh, you also have options to put it up on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. These are pretty standard things, uh, and, and it'll walk you through how to do it. Another great way to assign a quiz or actually do a whole bunch of different assignments, which this would be a completely other set of videos, but you could also use something called Google Classroom. And um, so uh, Google Classroom is kind of set up almost like almost like a blog, almost like a website. Uh, there's a lot of really neat things you can do with it, but let me just show you how to go through that really quickly. So once again, you get your URL, you can click on the link right here, and then uh, you can shorten it if you want to, however you want to do that. Make sure you copy it, and then go over here to Google your Google Classroom account and uh, assign it to your different classes. So I could go to my sixth grade class. Uh, this is my 1-2-A class, and hit plus. And then I can create an assignment. 
and call it whatever it is, you know, call it the uh, Earth Science Quiz. And uh, please take this quiz. And then give it the due date. So you can change the date if you want to. Maybe give them until the 29th to do it. However you want to do it. That's one of the nice things. And then come on down here and click on the link. And then paste that link right in there. That's added in. Click Assign. And then... There's the assignment. Now this will show up on all of the students' assignments, and uh, they'll be able to get to it through their Google Classroom accounts, and the link takes them right there. So those are just some of the options to take your form and get it out to the students so they can take the quiz. <laughs> Thank you.